stand by, please. Uh, this is a take rolling on take four. Did you hear all those sounds? That's what I use in my work, sound. Sometimes I might add the sound to a movie. Or maybe blend the voices for a cartoon. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Or take the sounds of several instruments. Mix them together just right. Whenever you hear sound on a record, in a movie or on television, you know somebody like me put it there. My name is Bill Bruckner. I'm a recording engineer. I work here at Reeves Sound Studios. My job is to make the sound I'm recording come out just right. Sometimes I have to take a piece of music and place it under a voice, like that, and fade it down softer and softer as the voice speaks, then come up louder as the voice stops, like that. Sometimes I work with sound effects, putting sound under a picture. By the way, we make that sound by crumpling cellophane in front of a microphone. This is the sound of lava bubbling in a volcano. Now the tape of that sound is kept here in the studio. And yes, a sound effects man climbed to the top of a volcano, lowered a microphone into it, and recorded the sound of lava bubbling. One day I might use it to make you believe that this soup is really bubbling. That this child is drinking from a fountain. Or maybe someday I'll even need the sound of lava to use as the sound of lava. All the sounds I work with are controlled through this machine, an audio console. It looks very complicated, but you'll understand it better if you think of it as a big radio. The volume control on your radio is like my mixer or fader, except that on the audio console, each button controls each sound separately. That means I can tune until I get the final sound just right. Not too loud, not too soft. And the tone control on your radio, where you change sounds to make them more bassy or more treble, I do like this with my equalizer. Now all the sound I handle is on tape. The tapes are kept here in the dubbing room. When I'm ready to record something, I'll call up ahead of time and tell the men in the dubbing room to put out the tapes I'll need. They put them up on these racks, ready to play them into my audio console. Let me show you how I go about adding sound to a TV commercial. First, look at the commercial and listen. How many different kinds of sounds do you hear? I fly through the air. With the greatest of cheese. Cheetos brand cheese flavored puffs. They have real cheese flavor. And come in two kinds of crunches. Baked to a delicate crunch, or quick fried to a crackly crunch. Cheetos, cheese that goes crunch. Okay, did you get five different sounds? Now let's find out how they were recorded. I'll be working on this recording with director Gary Messina. Gary got the sounds and sent the tapes here to the studio. He and I will work together closely to get the commercial to sound just the way he wants it. Okay, Bill, that's the mouse's voice, the airplane sound, the two different crunch sounds, and the crash that comes in at the end. Now, do you want the voice to come right in, or do you want the airplane sound first? The airplane comes in first. How's this? fly through the air with the greatest 
of cheese. Sounds good. Voice coming up clearly enough for you? Fine, Bill. Now those crunch sounds. Second one okay for you? Sounds too much like the first one. <laughs> Can you make it louder? You know, cracklier. Let's see how it works if you take some low frequencies out and add some highs. <laughs> Crackly enough for you? Perfect. Let's go with it. Let's put the crunches in and play back what we've done so far. I fly through the air With the greatest of cheese Cheetos brand cheese flavored puffs. They have real cheese flavor and come in two kinds of crunches, baked to a delicate crunch or quick fried to a crackly crunch. What we're actually doing is combining the sounds from five different tapes and recording them on one tape. We call that a mix. That recording session ended up being a short one. So days like today may actually work only four hours. But on heavy assignment days, I'll work for as long as it takes. 15 hours isn't unusual. Because of the complicated electronics involved in my work, I still have a lot to learn. I didn't start out to be a recording engineer. As a child, I wanted to be a farmer. But I do look back and remember that when I was a child, I was always fussing with the TV controls, getting the program tuned in just right. So maybe that was a clue. To me, what I do is exciting work because I'm fascinated by sound and how it works and why. Next time you watch television, listen for the sounds. Maybe even think about how you would have handled the sound. Made it a little louder? Begun the music a little sooner? Played around a little more with the sound effects? Try it. And when the program's over, see if my name is in the credits.